is a little transistorized ignition that has a little Hall effect sensor. 3144 Hall effect sensor. That's triggered by a magnet, um, which in turn triggers this sensor here, which is a 2N2907 transistor, and which in turn triggers this transistor here, which is a TIP42C, a Fairchild semiconductor transistor, which goes out through the orange cable and triggers the spark through the coil. Um, so I've got my negative cable coming to the circuit board, which is blue. I've got black cables also negative going to the spark plug on the alligator clip and going to the negative terminal on the 12 volt Lucas coil and my white cable is the positive cable to the circuit board. So this this little circuit is made up from I think a TIM transistorized ignition module version 6, TIM 6 from Jerry Howell's website um, and I got the diagram off the Five Bears website, which uses a different resistor, and I've added in an LED and another resistor for the LED um, as a timing aid. So when the LED comes on, nothing happens. When the LED goes off, it sparks. And I've got a heat sink onto the tip 42C. Here is a wiring diagram. So the magnet comes over the 3144 Hall sensor and a signal is emitted going to the base of the 2N2907 transistor which looks like this, tiny. Then a signal comes between the, or it lets the current pass between the emitter and the collector of that which in turn triggers the Tip 42C transistor, and that's a current flow this way and out. And this, these are the two into the coil, negative and positive. So this is my orange cable, and this is my black cable coming from the battery, battery negative. I've put in this LED and a resistor. I've also put in a capacitor here across the Hall's effect sensor. So you can probably take a screenshot of that if you wanted. I've made another diagram because it took me forever to figure this out. And this one is because I fitted it on this little circuit board. It has uh, 25 holes by by nine. I've not laid it out exactly the same way, but if you lay it out that way, it will work. And it just helps for the for the layout of the collector, base and emitter of the various parts. So you can see really the most important bits there are the, the layout for the 2N2907. So it's turned backwards with the flat face pointing up and the three legs pointing away, just as in the diagram. And then the tip 42C as in the diagram, it's like that. So if you compare this wiring diagram here with the wiring diagram on the other page, it'll help you put the base collector and emitter in the right order. And then down here, the Hall sensor, it's the same as on the last diagram, 3144, you've got positive left, negative center, and the output is on the right hand side. I said I put it on this little circuit board thing. It's hard to see in the camera, but it's got nine rows and it's 25 holes long, and nothing on the back, so you, you mount all the pieces on it. A bit of solder, and today's my first day learning how to solder. And it's not the worst effort, it's not the best effort, but uh, this is the second one I've made. First one over here, 
I managed to arc it by accident and I blew one of the strips off the back there. You can see the strip just blew off because I touched the spark plug alligator clip off it by accident and just, just blew up. It also blew up a hall sensor from overheating it um, when I was soldering. And I think it did the same to one of these 42 C's. Now they don't cost very much, but at the same time, I don't like wasting stuff. So that's it. This is what it looks like. Again. And that's it, it works. That's what it's all about. This is going on. Big Howard gem. I don't know if this will be just a prototype or if I'll make another one and cover it in some kind of silicone sealant or something. Some kind of epoxy resin to, s to make it waterproof, I don't know. It's not very robust as it stands, but like I say, it works.